Welcome to the patio. Welcome, Pationians. Welcome, Pationians. Pationians. Hello. This hello. is uh, this is life from the patio, where we bring you life as we see it from the patio. We have a great for- show for you today. We're going to do some catching up, hit a few quick takes, uh, and uh, tell you about what's going on around our neck of the hood. Neck of the. <laughs> What are you doing over there, Fort Bay? Scoff probably all these. I did that stickers with Joe Biden. And I'm, yeah. I'm showing the peeps. Oh, okay. So Fort Bay just <laughs> made it back from his re, his return trip to the Crescent City. Yes, New Orleans, yes. and he's got to tell it about that. Did you get lost, Fort Bay? <laughs> oh, okay, technically, yes. Did um, you get lost on purpose, though? No, no, I didn't. So the ladies left us alone for thirty minutes. We're on our way back to the hotel. We miss a street. And luckily, we all had phones, and we was like, oh, look, we missed the streets. So and we they weren't dead. The they phones were dead. not dead. They weren't dead. Did you have a battery pack on you this time? No. <laughs> I, I like Charlie stuck a air, air tag on me. <laughs> so, like, we, we, That's we a made, possibility. A, we made a loop and uh, got back. Also, some more shenanigans, because apparently I don't know what I'm doing in New Orleans. We were uh, going to go out after. We didn't get through cheering until, like, 1030 last night. And I found a uh, so you were you and Charlie were cheering at ten thirty last yeah. night at Razoo's. <laughs> no, look, so we were gonna. Uh, I found a restaurant because everything closes a lot early for some reason. Um, They're still closing early. Mm-hmm. So we, I found a restaurant. Uh, it said open twenty four hours a day. That was Crystal's okay. on on Bourbon no, Street. No, but it's, it's actually right next door. So this place is called Daisy Dukes, but online it said it it closed. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No. Daisy Dukes. Now that sounds like a house of ill repute. It's a restaurant. It's a restaurant. Okay. I, I okay. Checked. Okay. Pretty good menu, actually. I want to go. So I went online and looked, and it said it opens at 7 a.m., closes at 2. I was like, ah, cool. You know, that would be mm-hmm. perfect because it gives plenty of time. So we get there, and it, we get an Uber there. It, it's pitch black in the building. The lights are off. Doors are locked. My dumb ass, it, look, it closes at, at 2 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a brunch place. And so yeah. how, how, many, how, how many hurricanes had you had at this point? Zero. <laughs> Well, yeah, I've been drinking. I've been drinking at the seven a.m. to two a.m. would be a really long, like. Well, seven a.m. to two p.m. is a really that, short that, day. That gives them five so hours Daisy to restock. Duke is only a breakfast joint, a, a brunch slash breakfast. It's opened right as you're leaving Bourbon Street, but dude, yeah. they said they said they had bottomless um, Bloody Marys. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. I was really had my hopes up. So, it, long story short, that wasn't there. So. The Uber driver's sitting there in the middle of the street looking concerned because the place we're going is locked up. And I just wave and say, go on, we'll find our way. <laughs> and so we uh we find a place called Willie's Chicken Shack. I think that's what it's called. Oh, that's I know what oh well, you were there. We were there yeah. before, right on Bourbon Street. Yep. That's the first spot we hit on Bourbon Street. So there's some, there's some photos of that. Yeah. Yeah, there is. So uh we got some uh, pizza and uh some you chicken got, wings. You got pizza at a chicken shack? Was was Willie's pizza and chicken uh they got the hand oh, grenades okay. there? No, hand grenades are right next door. Oh, okay. at, at I, knew hand I knew hand grenades were close by. But um, yeah, so we good. We just uh, made a trip up and down the uh, the strip, and people watched and had a good time. Now we weren't halfway down there, and a guy walks up to Tommy and says, uh, "Excuse me, sir, uh, do you have any cocaine to sell?" <laughs> <laughs> Does he look like he need, he had cocaine? <laughs> Does Tommy look like a cocaine salesman? Yeah, apparently so. A cocaine salesman that's called a drug dealer. <laughs> And then there was a there was this uh, crazy. I did hold on. You didn't tell us how he answered the question. Oh, well, we we just laughed. I mean, oh, look, is uh, that so, a laugh of? Oh, of course, I'm a cocaine like, salesman. Uh, it's or, it's an easy uh, laugh. Uh, it's an uneasy laugh. Like he found out. Uh, <laughs> also, there was this homeless guy sitting there just ranting. I'm not sure what he's ranting. Tommy's gonna try to sneak up on him and hear what he was saying. <laughs> so meanwhile, as he's sneaking, he almost steps on the head of another homeless guy sleeping. That's like that's like what. So that that was like when you were sleeping. <laughs> That's like with the cat and the cucumber thing. You're not supposed to put a cucumber behind a cat. <laughs> I have what? no idea what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you ever watch that? You put, you, you're supposed to sneak up a cucumber behind a cat and then it sees the it, cat it like jumps up. Out about the cu- yeah, Donnie knows what I'm talking about. The, 
That cat and the cucumber. It's a story. The cat and the cu- uh, Fortin Bear, I think we're in this one alone. We don't know anything about the cat and the cucumber. Be, well, you got to watch more. I would be excited if he turned around there's a cucumber. <laughs> That's right. Could we uh, maybe, Gary, could you video like Whitney and a cucumber? Like you sneak up behind Whitney with a cucumber? No, no, but I do have a cat. I, I'm going to. Do it. I, now I'm, I want to know. You Hey, you remember when uh, D-Rock back in the day used to take his cats and put socks around the back end of them? Their whole back end? Yeah, because then they would like, they, their whole back end would just go like limp and they would drag themselves across the floor. I don't remember that. Yeah, he used to do that. Mm. But that was that was my weekend. We survived. Why do you have so much information about cats? I, I have a cat. Yeah, but so you study cats. You sit there and stare. Are, are you like uh, who was the one that studied the monkeys? Um, the lady, oh, Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall. <laughs> yeah, are you like Jane Goodall? Are you like taking well, notes the, of the cat, like there? the mist? Is that what? In the gorillas yeah. in the mist. Gorillas, gorillas in, the in the mist. Oh, okay. No. no, he's a he's I, kittens in the mist. I'm only Gary, Gary in the patio, so. Gary in the past. So, Gary, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad I'm back. What y'all do? Y'all doing things this weekend? Where you been? I, I, you know, I've been out. <laughs> did y'all did y'all have any did sports you go this somewhere? Huh? Uh, what? I, what? I, no, we didn't go anywhere. I, I, I had, I had uh, basketball. That's why I wasn't here Thursday. I, Josie had a basketball game. She Actually, scored Wednesday. Yeah, oh, yeah. Thursday. Yeah, went, you're yeah. Right. You know, you're yeah. right. You're right. You're Josie right. scored two points. So, well, good. That's good. good she was ex- Josie. Yeah, grossy Josie got two hoop. points. Oh, Josie. She a hooping. Well, and DW is not in studio again. His sickness has struck the White House. The yeah. White Plague. White Plague. Yeah. So how, how, did uh the Junkies of volleyball? Yeah, this we weekend? volleyballed. Did they volleyball yeah, out? They, they did good. Uh, good. They, it's like a power league thing, so it's an internal tournament. So this this week they played oh, okay. uh, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Is it nice. uh, your daughter's team nationally ranked? Yeah, they're sixth right now. I tell you what, uh, Code uh, and John Eric, their kids played in uh, Kansas City. I think it's the Crushers. Is that? Yeah, they're the Crushers. They're the older Crushers. Dude, they beat a team yesterday that hasn't lost a set in two years. <clears throat> wow. So, sounds like sounds like me and Jamie in tennis. So we're good. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know. Jamie can't never stick to his guns here, but we we need to start playing tennis or pickleball. Oh, you know, yeah. pickle, pickleball's pickleball is tennis for old men. Yeah. Well, you know what? In fairness, I haven't lost a set in tennis in like 15 years. Me either, Jamie. Isn't that crazy? Impressive. We're like undefeated. Undefeated in tennis. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Mm. Um, so what's going on in the world today? Uh, well, I saw where a... Uh, uh, Hunter Biden's renting his house, uh, renting a house from his dad for uh, what forty nine thousand dollars a month. Yes, to be exact, it was forty nine thousand. He put on his taxes. Uh, so who paid? Who's paying? That? What's it? Well, what's so it that sounds do? interesting. <laughs> well, well, I think I think it's paintings. His it paintings pay for that. Well, well, it's a two million dollar home that he's renting for uh, almost fifty grand a month. I, I think his Faja. Put on there that he was only running for twenty seven hundred. So I don't know what's happening to other forty six thousand. Is this a uh, good way to launder money? What? I don't know. I don't know. What else we got going on? Biden the house. They got all kinds of issues going on now. They're all about the. Uh, I, I saw thing. where they uh, they found some more. Uh, They're up to six pages now of classified documents at the Biden uh, compound. How, how many you even call? It? How many pen? How many pages? A top were secret at? compound because that's apparently what they keep there. How many pages were at Penn or whatever it was? The they University wanted Trump, Penn, like, or? basically, like, just wiped off the face of the earth for, like, sent him to prison because he had documents. Now, I still have a theory here. I'm going to play my conspiracy theory music. No. Yeah. Joe Biden has been protected way too much throughout the, his entire illegitimate preg- pregnancy. Pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably more legitimately pregnant than he is president, but his illegitimate presidency. Now, he, just a second. It's, it is illegal to uh, get a uh, feeble-minded person pregnant. 
<laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that was damn loud. I don't even know where it's one that came. So Donnie, from. are you are you at the is that Donnie's or is that ours? <laughs> Don, Donnie, you're, you're over there running a train. What's going on? <laughs> oh, we got to talk about that too. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of trains, we got to talk about that too. <laughs> I, right. We forget. Oh, I keep forgetting to talk about that. But but let's stay on Biden for a minute, okay? Um, so my theory: Why are the all of a sudden the media, the left? Because right now they're bashing the Democrats, lash out over Biden classified document scandal. It's an embarrassment. Yes, this I'm, is my theory. Okay, they will either impeach him or use this as a way to keep him from running and set a precedence of why uh, Trump is not qualified to run again, or use that to try to convince people not to vote for Trump. Because there's no other reason. He's been protected from every other. I mean, if the Hunter Biden laptop story doesn't get him in trouble, th this is going to go away. Unless there's powers that don't want it to go away. Interesting. That, that is a very, very good um, thought. You have a valid po you have a val <laughs> valid point there. Well, this falls directly into uh, the, all right, Don, you going to argue with me about it or does everybody think it? No, I just don't thought? see any situation where a, a president like that does something stupid and actually gets in trouble for it. But, well, one of the problems too is all this is from his vice president. Yep. And as vice president, he has no authority to declassify. Correct. So, is he not smart enough to go as soon as they find it to go, "All right, I'm going to declassify them pages." <laughs> Okay, would you do that? I'd do it. I look, I, I love. Unless it's about you, maybe there's there's stuff about you. Really important, <laughs> or it could be. I, not I'm just, that. yeah. It very well could not be important, but it's going to be a, a means and methods thing too. I'm just all about the raid, I'm about fairness. I need a raid. We're going to call it raid at Coco Melon. Let's go. Right at Coco Melon. Why Coco Melon? Uh, his favorite TV show. That's his favorite. Yeah. Him and JJ are like buddies. <laughs> I, I, look, I, have to, I hate to admit that I've never seen a Coco oh, Melon. Oh, you don't want to. I have no idea to. what a Coco Melon is. Don't do it. All I know is kids seem to love Coco Melon. Maybe well, we, need Coco, I, we need a Coco Melon on the show. I think Biden might be more of a Bluey type guy. I No, no. Bluey is a little bit more it's advanced. Bluey Australia. Yeah, Bluey is more advanced. That's yes. Right. Coco Melon is mostly songs and ABCs and stuff. So Get right at his wheelhouse. Yeah, that's right there you know because he's 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 like benjamin button you know he's going backwards now <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh look long story short we have a uh a, a cluster at the uh white house not just the white house well I've, I've, how about the cluster at washington dc no that's that's true too but like okay look at uh what's the guy um Jose Gonzalez or so, so George Santos. George Santos, I was way off. But <laughs> jo I think Jose George. Gonzalez got caught at the border. He was trying to come across when the so uh, mayor Santos. of New York made it across. There. Why is him lying worse than Trump? Or than well, Trump too, but worse than uh, Biden right. lying? Because he's conservative. Or he, he hell, he may not even be conservative. <laughs> he might lie to that too. He I don't may know. be posing as a conservative. Why? He may really be. But what makes his... Political. What makes his lies and not a politician been a politician? Mm -hmm. But hey, all right. Did y'all hear about the gaffe that your president made today? This goes along with this. No, he was singing. He was at a Martin Luther King Jr. Happy Birthday, King. Yep. Uh, MLK. MLK Day. He was at a celebration, and it uh, was duh, duh. Uh, it was Martin Luther King Jr. the third or something like that's wife. Birthday today. Mm -hmm. So he then the okay. proceeded to sing to her happy hold on, birthday. Hold on, hold on, hold on, just a second. Joe. You just said Martin Luther King Jr. the third. That would make him like the sixth. Look, I always get confused about that. No, no, no. It'd be doesn't. Martin Luther King the third. It'd be the fourth. If he's hold Mar on. Martin Luther See, King Jr. the third, he'd be the fourth. You're going to make me. Uh, he, but he can't oh. be Martin Luther King no, Jr. Actually, the third. I was so yes, far Yes, off. Jamie Luther is correct King on that. Jr. the anything. It was Martin Luther King's daughter-in-law. Yeah, we bought Luther King squared. Anyway, he was singing happy birthday to her and then forgot her name. <laughs> he sang happy birthday to her. Was it her birthday? Yeah, apparently. She's 49. She's today. got the same. Happy birthday, she's Andrea got the Waters same, King. She got the same birthday as her, her, as her father-in-law her father or whatever. Okay, I must have done questions. Is today I, really his birthday? I thought, I, I thought they... Or, no, that's not his birthday. Today. I thought Martin Luther King Day was the day he was assassinated. Yeah. All right, this is so damn confusing because it just said Martin Luther King's daughter-in-law. Oh, then it said Martin the Third. Okay, so 
Martin Luther King Jr. was the one we're celebrating. Yes. Martin Luther King Sr. was his dad. His dad. So this would be Martin Luther King's son. No, no, no. The third. The third. The third. The third. It, it'd third. be the th yeah. third. Yeah, the third. Not well, to be confused with Martin Luther. But, but you know, not, you know, I don't. Is today today is not for his birthday. Today is for the assassination, correct? Or is it a day of remembrance? Do, do we we don't celebrate assassination? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not <laughs> celebrating his assassination. No, that's not what I'm going with. Good it, lord, that's what Jamie was Good saying. Good lord, is, Gary, is, is today the that's day? That's not he what was, I was saying. It sounds was, like that's what Gary was trying. Yeah. Look, he's trying to put <laughs> it off on you now. Gary calls it James Earl right day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, damn, Gary. No. First, first you're pro right now. This <laughs> damn, did um, I lose Donnie? We, we got to do some. We got to okay. do some work. Okay. No. Gary needs help. But no. But no. I, I'm thinking it's a day of remembrance. Oh, it's, remembering. But yeah, the date's got to come from somewhere. All right. Let's see what today's really called. Okay. Uh, it's called MLK Day. But but, <laughs> but why is today the day? That's what I'm asking. Yeah. I, yeah. I, what I, is today? Surely okay. it's not his birthday. Today is. Right. It'd be weird if it's his birthday. Oh, I think it's today birthday. the 16th. Today's the sixteenth. Yeah. All right. What is today? Today is National Fig Newton. Day. Okay. Oh, I love this. Fig is Newton. true. I love Fig Newton. Uh, Nash Martin Luther King Jr. Day, well, but it doesn't tell me what that means. But, but yeah, why was today this day is so National like Nothing Day? All of these are like apparently appreciated Dragon Day. Dragons. Whoa. I like dragons. Yeah. Appreciated Dragon. Google. Day. Get on the Google machine, Gary. And just see why do we sell it? Uh, yeah. Why is I'm, it today? I'm pulling it now. It says that. Each year on the third Monday of January, we observe Martin Luther King Jr. Day and reflect on the work that still needs to be done for racial equality. This January 16th, to make the holiday more than just a day off, take time to reflect and take action on civil rights issues across the globe. All right, I'm going to look. So, at okay, it's not the date is irrelevant. It's, it's just. What is his actual. Hold birthday? on. Where, yeah, where it, was it was like Easter. Ja ja January 16th was MLK Jr.'s birthday. So that is today. It's actually today then. Yeah, yeah. So it actually happened so to hit on today. Yeah, yeah. To the, which, is, which is random. Which is random, but it does, it, that's what it said. No, hold on. Hold so, on. So let me ask you this. Why do companies not do President's Day anymore? I don't, th companies seem, uh, at least my company, we used to get MLK and President's Day, and now we've shrunk and removed both of those holidays. Y'all remove both of them? So Y'all work on both of them? Yep. Yep. Um, and we used to get Columbus Day. We were uh, only, okay. one of the my, my company, company don't, get, we don't do Day. nothing. We get Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, we get 4th of July, Memorial Day, and Labor Day. The big, the big boys. Yeah, the, the big I've never worked at a city. place that had any holidays at all. We worked everything. Well, I mean, considering you've been a uh, police officer, yeah. military, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, the military usually works on uh, Memorial Day, and it, it sucks. But what else has Joe Biden screwed up today? Hmm. He's he's had a lot going on. I'm not sure. I can't remember all the all the details. But it's been a rough few weeks for him. Man, there's a lot more to that speech today. He have actually um, he knocked the fiscally demented. Republicans in his speech today. He knocked fiscally how? He uh, called the Republicans fiscally demented and knocked GOP priorities during the keynote speech at the National Action Network annual breakfast to mark Martin Luther King Jr. Day. They're going to talk about big spending Democrats again. Guess what? I reduced the deficit last year $350 billion. This year, federal deficit's down $1 trillion plus. That's a fact. The year just started. All right, I'm going to clarify something. Martin Luther King's birthday was January fifth. Is January fifteenth. So it was yesterday. So it was yesterday. So we should have been celebrating yesterday. We should have, but you got to make a federal holiday, so it's got to be on a weekday. So that's why they do the no. first, you know, whatever Monday. But so so it's it, the MLK day. MLK day is around his birthday. It's just hovers around his birthday. Okay, it's not around assassination, so that's good. Well, that is good. That a good choice there, America. Mm hmm. <laughs> Even though Gary thought we were celebrating, I, uh, yeah, oh Gary, come Jay, on, Jay, Jay, Gary. Jerry thought President's Day was uh, uh when John Wilkes Booth assassinated Lincoln. He didn't well, do know. we not? When is President's Day? Is that in February or is that in Jay, uh, February? <laughs> okay, I think it's like yeah, the first Monday in February, something like that. Okay, yeah. All right, let's uh, 
Let's talk about some quick takes. Let's talk about some headlines. Yeah, those are good headlines. Good headlines some around. Head, yeah, oh, there's some great ones. Um, did you hear about the uh, cop going wild in Tennessee? <laughs> yeah, that girl. She got with like all of the PD, basically. Um, I, I, the only reason why I knew what occurred, because I had to look it up, because I kept seeing memes with this cop girl. Okay, so um, let me let me see if I can read this story. Uh so the husband, both of them were cops. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know he was a cop. Too. I'm pretty sure that's yeah, right. Yeah, I, I think, so. think he's a cop. And they were um, husband of Tennessee cop going wild. Megan Hall stands by his wife and decided to try to salvage their marriage after she was fired for having sordid romps with six colleagues. As she shrugs off scandal and says, "It's time to move on." So while er, while he's standing beside her, everybody else is standing behind her. <laughs> sure. So. <laughs> So she'll have OnlyFans in like a week. Uh, yeah. She probably already does and making yeah. five times what she made <laughs> last week. Um, so she was fired after a probe found she engaged in sexual relationships with multiple officers. She had claimed she was in an open marriage and tried to recruit her sheriff's deputy husband of four years, Jebediah Hall. Boy, that sounds like Jebediah. a swinger, man, For swinging sessions. He probably patrols but, uh, on a horse and buggy. So, so, yeah. so but why, Jebediah, why who's the son of a pastor, wasn't really on board. And instead of confronting his wife uh, for four years, instead of cheating. So she thought they were an open marriage. He did not think they were an open air marriage. And she continued to facilitate the basically, activities with her cohort. She thought she was on uh, Springer. That's what it was. No. And then she was just like, I'm going to do it anyways. And then he's kind of like, oh, well, you know, whatever. Lady to the car. So man. how will... <laughs> Why did they fire all these people? Is what I'm curious hurt. about. I think they only fired her, didn't they? They fired no, them. no. They, they fired f- four officers, no, two suspended, two suspended. I think the ones they fired are the ones that uh, were doing the axon job, like during. Why so why would paid. you suspend the other ones? Well, because they weren't. Uh, in, on you know, the job, in most places you work, you have a ethics thing in your policy. Yeah. Um, Is it ethically wrong if the husband agreed with it? Oh. Well, but it wouldn't make news if the husband agreed with it. He said he stands behind her. And like, well, hold on. So let me read this next line. <laughs> so it appeared that she performed oral sex on colleagues while on duty, had affairs, and proposed threesomes with another officer and his wife and wiped, whipped off her bikini top at a girl's gone wild hot tub party. So you know what really happened here. No, right? no, no. She was training to be a breathalyzer. Yeah. <laughs> But you know what really happened here? That dude's wife that she proposed to sit the threesome to, she got pissed off. Yep. Yeah. That's what started She got song. pissed off and started this whole thing, I guarantee. Boy, she's kind of homely. Yeah. Uh, she, yeah, she's, she's 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 not the no, hottest. I mean, she, uh, no. Not not yeah. not that good looking. Um, nope. But um, apparently she's opened uh, a lot of things. I saw on video today riding a mechanical bull. So, I mean, I guess that's where she's training. I, I guess I tried to ride a mechanical bull one time. Look, they, she brings a whole new meme to a, a, a group training, don't she? <laughs> group. Look, we're doing group. We're doing a, a team bonding. Oh, uh, well, geez. they have suspended three more cops, and sixty-two others are undergoing mandatory retraining. I know what rules. it is. <laughs> I know what it is. Now you know there's ten other guys in that group of sixty-two going. Oh Lord, please don't mention. <laughs> no. don't, don't mention my name. I Lord. guarantee there's more. Look, what it was, they sent out an email wanting to do a team bonding, and they misspelled it and put bondage. <laughs> well, bonding goes with I don't think anybody well, had her tied yes. down, especially not her husband. No, her husband didn't I got to tell you, you look at her, you would never guess. No. There, she is the most nondescript, just. Like, she would make your penis go, eh. And this dude, <laughs> well, I mean, but but this, and this her husband, no wonder she decided to treat him oh. that way. He looks like he could be walked over pretty hard. But there was a – I heard of something I want to get you guys' feedback on. So they were talking about this story. I was listening to um, Michael Knowles, I think it was. And he asked a question. He said, so this guy's trying to reconcile with his wife. Is this grounds for yeah. divorce? I listened to the exact same episode where you're talking about. He said no. Well, I was going to let the other guys that didn't listen to why, it. Why would him. it not be grounds for divorce? I feel like it is. Michael Knowles says no. No, absolutely. What'd you say, Donnie? 
Yeah. So if it's the other way around, it, it would absolutely be uh, from a legal <laughs> standpoint. I'm sure it's ground, but his standpoint was from the uh, biblical standpoint and it the is. Catholic specifically religion that would not deem this as a an acceptable reason for divorce. I'm sorry. I think it is. Well, let's be honest. The, the Catholics don't have a strong uh, track record on uh, some things. So yes, sex yes, involving let's... sex. So let's not take their opinion. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think this is grounds for a divorce, but, but I, I understand what Michael Knowles was saying. There's very few things that are grounds for divorce, like uh, the husband or whatever, or wife's beating Listen, the children or something she, like that. She didn't cheat. She got yeah. ran through by the police department. Do you not think this dude had an inkling something was going he on? He did. I, I think he's okay. He wasn't beating oh, children. Um, she was beating other dudes. Yeah, I mean. I, I think this goes back to your conspiracy Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me play it for you. I, I don't. All right. I, I think it goes back to what you're saying is people are now enjoying their significant other being taking, taking control so, over by other people. That's a good point. And so is it more that he got somebody new and they probably mentioned it to him and embarrassed him? Yeah. Could be. I think he knew and I think he, I think he may have enjoyed it like, i think what happened here was she tried out for the swat team and didn't make it so she made the WAP team <laughs> well look the dude See, she made the WAP team so, she, just, she pulls up in a van and says WAP on the side but this guy's dad's a preacher right and we all know preachers kids seem a little they got some problems usually it's because they're sheltered there but but and so he would be extremely embarrassed for people to find well out. i need to be careful I, you know i'm a man of the cloth myself <laughs> Jack, being Jack, an ordained minister you he's know, an ordained minister yeah, you've married people before. I have. Are they still married? Yes. Oh, look at there. I've got. I'm, bat, I'm batting five hundred. <laughs> on my weddings. <laughs> it was the first. It was the other one. I don't want to say. I don't want to get on this. <laughs> oh. But uh, yeah, there's uh, one of them didn't like it. Oh well. That's Jamie's music. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Mm. Yeah. So I think there'll be. Uh, I think you're right. I think she'll have her oh, own. Yeah. Uh, her own channel. So you don't have to be lonely. <laughs> At, at copsonly.com. Oh, I, bet, I bet she's already got a channel. I'd be willing to she's bet got, she's, she's going to make money off this. Like have no doubt. Just... Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. She, oh, she might have released it herself. How many, how many cops are contacting her now? For, like, police parties or... <laughs> Cops? What you talking about? Every, the, the, sing, every single guy in Tennessee, <laughs> Central Tennessee that... that dude. Dude. That could be, you imagine if she, had, if she was on an episode of Cops? <laughs> Bad girls, bad Look, girls. Yeah. What you got? You just see blurs everywhere. They're blurring out everything. <laughs> Y'all know that's not too far from she, here. We could go interview her. <laughs> it's Laverne, Tennessee. So let's go. Oh, let's do it. Let's. How do you feel? I will dress as a police officer for the interview. Just <laughs> told that out there. She got. She got steadily scoot her chair next to you. <laughs> She's probably done with police officers now. Now there's some other big news from Tennessee. Jamie, you want to tell us what's going on in Minfo, Tennessee? Uh, do, you, do you have it in front of you? Or? I'm pulling it okay, up Okay, he's pulling it up. So, uh, apparently, there is a serial yeah, killer work, in Memphis, uh, Tennessee. Because I, I was just so, tied up at the time when you sent it, and then I forgot about it. But what makes a serial killer? So, well, uh, the police are denying it, but uh, the uh, apparently news has gotten information. So, uh, what I got yesterday was there's been six murders. All six of them were people shot in the... Head For, uh, in the head, I believe forehead, yep. and then the bodies were burned. So that's a pretty specific. Well, MO. all right. So maybe the the bot. So what caught my eye was last week there was some. And all of it's teacher. in Westwood. All of it's in Westwood. There was a middle school teacher that just randomly showed up that everybody loved, shot in the head and burned on the stoops of a church or something, and it's happened now five other times. Yep. Yeah, it, it was four, but they went back. So were they getting and burned yeah. at the murder scene? What is that? Hold on. I got some video playing. Oh. There we go. Terry, yeah. That's nice. Terry signed yeah. up for that girl's only fan. Go ahead, Donnie. Yeah. I was trying to find it. Yeah, that's what it. I was about to say is, uh, Donnie, when you said you were tied up, were you I've tied up by a cop? I've never been tied up by a cop. Um, mm. uh, let's get back to the, to the serial killer. I'm all about serial killer. It's fast. What's the, I like serial. Like, so, uh, what's the time span on what's these what? murders? 
I, that I don't know. I want to say it was like a month and a half. <laughs> yeah, right had been, there. Had been like long. Not moving them, not just setting them off. No, he drops them. He drops them somewhere. He drops them somewhere burnt. That's why I was concerned. I was, is it because he he shoots them in the head and then he burns them, but they're not in a, are they in a car? He burns the car? Or is no, he no, just, he burns the body. He just burns the body. I don't okay. think, I haven't heard if they know exactly, know really where the murders had taken place. But I, I think they're saying most of it is like uh, white hate. But they're finding Westwood. them in different spots. Yeah. No, no, it's all localized yeah, to like the White Haven, Westwood area. Yeah, but they're finding like specific locations. Yeah, yeah, at different yeah, yeah. It's it's in the same neighborhood, but not like exact same spot. So I would like to go on, uh, go ahead and throw my uh, suggestion the hat for giving him his uh, his serial killer moniker. Mm. I would like to call him the Boogie Main of White Haven because mm, it is Ooh. Memphis, Maine. Ooh, the Boogie you're going to remind me to put that in the title. Boogie Main, the, the Boogie, Boogie Main of White Haven. Haven. So mm. that's four murders, but are all, no, all of them the same? It's well, this, what's the date of this story? I'm reading. I want to. I want to say it was January thirteenth. So it was like another? November to de- to December was four murders, and I think the only yeah, there's two this month. Yeah, yeah, there's six murders happened between November the eighth and January fifth in Westwood. There that's you go. A, so there you yeah. go. That's a and as a cop, I would yeah. think that's a pattern. Is it, is it not? Th- is it gang related yeah. at all? Like, do any of these people have ties to one another? I've only seen the story about one, and he was not. It did not appear he was like a gang. I would say this. Well, I guess it, I'm going to limb here. If there's a gang, if there's a gang member going out uh, that's killed six people, shoot him in the head, burning bodies, it's still a serial killer. That that yep. is. He's got an mo. I mean, at some point, you know, you're not like just a, a gang, gang banger. And this is kind of what they're doing now: burning the body, try to destroy. You, well, you, you you know that uh, cop in Laverne, she's a gang banger, so. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Hold on, let's see. I think I got something for that. Ah, uh, that's my dad joke of the All day. Right, now moving on, to the next story. Y'all gonna love this one if you hadn't seen it already. Wyoming is moving to ban sale of new electric vehicles by twenty thirty five. I do love that. I of knew what? you would love that. Of what? They're going to ban the selling of new electric vehicles by twenty thirty five. Well, that makes sense. So, I mean, it is destroying the environment. It's actually worse to the environment. You know, honestly, all these electric vehicles, they're not efficient whatsoever. Well, not just that. I mean, there's these little kids in Africa. They're digging up cobalt and nickel and lithium. lithium and yeah, go to, go look that up, guys. I'll try to put a link yeah, in. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's, that's it's, it's terrible. They're yeah. terrorizing Africa. It, but, but the thing is. Blood, it's the blood diamonds will be blood electric vehicles. Yes, blood uh, lithium. If we were getting our electricity from nuclear. And not fusion, fission, fission, fission. Yeah, fission's the type we have small nuclear reactors for now, right? Do, do we not only have like three nuclear power plants in America? There's, there's two in the state of Arkansas. Yeah. Okay, I thought there was only like three. No, there's several more. Okay, okay. They're they're just there's haven't one been in a new one. There haven't there hasn't been a new one in like I don't know what forty state years. That's okay. But you know that's what we ought to really be talking about. Oh, if yeah. we were to build those instead With, of so all these people that hate on the boomers. The, the worst thing boomers did was uh, getting rid of uh, or pushing away uh, nuclear. Uh, oh yeah, power. it is. But now they had their reasons. I, I blame Three Mile Island. It was on Three that Mile. Island. I, I get it, but I mean, in hindsight, that really was a a, a, a boo boo. Well, like yeah. Fujishima, Fujishima, or uh, is that how you pronounce that? The Japanese that had the uh, the the tidal wave or whatever from yeah the, that that happened back in like twenty ten or something. Chernobyl. Like Chernobyl, Chernobyl was, was it, a bad one. If you have HBO, watch the Chernobyl special deal. It's That's pretty great. stinking awesome. It's really, really good. I used to deal with radiation. It's pretty accurate. You know, uh, interesting fact, the hot tub time machine, that was the name of the uh, drink, was Chernobyl. That one Made girl sense. took all those dudes for a ride in a hot tub time machine. Mm. She did. She is, La- she is from Laverne as well. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm going to get back to a serious story real quick here. Did you guys hear about Darius Miles, the Alabama hoop star? Mm -hmm. Yes. He done got him a murder charge. Uh, University of Alabama basketball player Darius Miles. Wasn't he – Memphis trying to get him Mm -hmm. at one time a few years back? Um, Allegedly uh, gunned down a 23-year-old mother of one because she had (laughs) brushed him off. Like, like he didn't, like she didn't. She wouldn't talk to him. She went, oh, so she just, he just murdered her? He allegedly opened fire at a car she was riding in near the strip. 
an area near the campus. Police identified Miles and Michael Lynn Davis, 20, as suspects in the shooting after they reviewed surveillance footage so and the, interviewed multiple witnesses. A legit shot to go to the murder. NBA, make tons of money, and play basketball. and But instead, he's going to kill sure some did. lady that turned him away, turned him down. Dude, some of these kids are stupid, I, man. It's, it's all about... I, I think it's because of the way they've been treated. So he's been yep. a star probably his whole damn yep. life. And he's, got, he's got a trophy for everything he's ever done. Well, and the fact is he could probably have any other hundred girls on campus. But you're not going to turn him down. But, yeah. And yeah, the you know, that, yeah, the, the, school, the high school, you know, probably in, in Pee Wee basketball, he was a superstar. Junior high is a superstar. High school is a superstar. AAU is a superstar. He goes to college, he's a superstar. How dare this woman turn him down? And now uh, you're going to jail. Yep. And she's dead. And her baby going to grow up without a, mo- a Yeah, there, there's, there's a family that's missing a daughter. There's a child missing a mother. Because this piece of shit couldn't take no. Yeah, kids, I um, I hope I hope some of y'all may be listening to this. But uh, it's it's nuts out there. It's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. It's D's out there. And Donnie's yeah. right. I think he yeah, could have made a good, have Maybe not pro. been a star or anything. Yeah. At least made some money and had a good life. And now you're going to go to prison for the rest of your life. It's just. I mean, if you're that, if you're that upset, just shoot there. yourself. Uh-huh. Don't, don't take nobody, don't take nobody with you. You know how many times I've been turned down in my life? Like I, every I, other day. I, it's, it's married, every other day. You're married, it still happens. My wife does have it all time time for that conversation here. I, I know we don't. We don't. But, you know, us as males in here, we've been turned down plenty of times. But did we go out and kill somebody? Nope. Speaking of uh, guys that can get any women, apparently Fidel Castro. Uh, he did. He had, get nobody. Uh, oh, he had a pretty pretty yeah, high I mean, uh, body count, dick. though, back in his day. He well, was, that, well, I mean, just, Justin Trudeau's a son. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's being Hello. serious. Hold on. Where, yeah, where is it at? There it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah j- go well, ahead. apparently he was known for uh, having relations with at least two women a day, two different women. That's insane. That's also impressive. That's, that's up that's, till Up till he was dangerous. 90. So he's 90? So, look, go, take, yeah. go look at a picture of Trudeau. Go look at a picture of uh, Castro. Go listen to Trudeau talk. He taught his speeches aren't so different than and their political Castro. views are the same. Yeah, mm. Mm. yeah. Fid- mm. So Fidel Castro, um, they were <laughs> thirty five thousand is what they think he was with. Thirty five. Well, I mean, he was the that dictator, right? Insane. So he's basically. Oh, he's <laughs> 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 definitely he was, a dictator. He was a dictator though, of Cuba. So like he's. <laughs> Pulling all these women in, what they're not going to tell them no. No. Oh, they're hoping they get to be the the side they're, woman, the his number two or three or whatever. The, I, them dictators. You got to watch out for them dictators. That, that that's probably <laughs> what they had on the back of that girl's car. <laughs> dictator. <laughs> the police officer. <laughs> Oh, Lord, we have digressed. That's terrible. And see, I thought we was all going to be back in the studio tonight. Uh, it. it would probably uh, have been worse. It probably would. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I got another story. And this one's legit. I, it, and it's going to seem odd to mix with the others. Do you actually know uh, what the Rotten Tomato score really means? Uh, nope. I thought I thought uh, if it's shitty, you throw Rotten Tomatoes at the stage. The higher the score, the better it is, is my understanding. So It is, but in reality, it should be uh, scaled the other way. Yeah, so 100% means you throw a bunch of tomatoes at Yeah. It. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Jamie. All right, don't leave us a suspense here. So, you're right. When someone uh, – all right, so a high percentage on Rotten Tomatoes means it was good because people didn't throw tomatoes. Yeah, but it should be 100% of tomatoes thrown. So. Yeah, the, yeah, the scale's backwards. Yeah. Hold on a sec. When I see 98, I think – Bad no, because of Rotten good. Tomatoes. Oh, people were confused because of the way it was listed. So they thought it meant 98% of tomatoes was thrown at it. Oh, no, These no. are the people we have voting for Joe Biden. No, 98% means good on Rotten Tomatoes. In every world, anything I've ever been in this world, the higher the number, the better, typically. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but it, sh- it shouldn't be Unless that way. It's technically backwards. 
Jamie, the can, high the high the tomatoes are, uh, the high the rotten tomatoes are, the more tomatoes should be thrown at it, which means it would be worse. So yeah. you agree with these TikTok people? Because he's yes. a TikTok. So he's been confused all these years. It, no, it, no, I understand. He's the, been watching these crappy movies, thinking they're great. Well, I, I understand the angry. scale, but it's backwards. We it's already know that ja- Jamie gets his news from TikTok. So can you imagine the guy sitting around one day going, "Let's make a website. We'll call it Rotten Tomatoes." And it's going to be like huge, and everybody will use it to figure out what they want to watch on TV. It's it's because who's the guy goes? That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. It's because people got tired of watching Siskel and Ebert at like two a.m. on Saturday nights. I liked those when I was a kid. I did too. I love watching like the previews of the new movies coming out. I didn't know. I didn't know they had a show. Oh, it was. It was on air. Oh yeah, they were great. It was on air. I mean, I, I realized they existed, but I just thought. I forget what channel it was on. It, it came out like a, after like Tales from the Crypt and stuff like that on Saturdays. Tales from the Hood is what I was watching. Oh, uh, that's good thing. stuff too. All right, let's see what else did I have on loving this. What's the next story thing? What's the what? <laughs> this was pretty good. I guess I could have talked about this a while ago. Uh, you're going to need to get your – well, Jamie can't. But did you guys see the statue – that was um, ten million dollars statue. I, saw that. I heard about this statue. The uh, the embrace. Yeah, that was um, what's the right word? It was uh, released, I guess you will, or it was debuted. Uh, debuted. That's the right one. I don't think you don't say released with the. What <laughs> don't, like don't, the don't say released. The embrace. Yeah, and basically it's uh, you go look it up. You can look. I'm it gonna up. Go look, look up. It up just now. look up statue. Look up for or you can do woke statue is what what it'll be under. And it was supposed to um, be uh, Martin Luther's arms around credits, just their arms. And when the, the it, it looks like you zoomed in on that uh, officer from the uh, range. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, one of the kids in the audience said that looked like a big penis or a big dong. Is what they said. They said it looked like a big dong. And sure enough, from a certain angle, it's very provocative. It's very provocative. But they spent so ten what's million it dollars. Supposed to be doing stage. now. It's supposed to be two arms. It's supposed to be Coretta and uh, and and Martin Luther King Jr. And if uh, you're at hugging. one angle, it does look that way. In one angle, it looks it looks fine. Yeah. But if you look from another angle, it looks like somebody's holding a massive uh, hog. It looks like the, they're holding a liver or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like just terrible. It's not good. It is not good. They and need to put more veins. The on thing liver. is, people are now so woke they won't even give correct criticism. I'm sure that there was a model that's presented. And and people won't – they're afraid to to respond. They're afraid to respond to this. Here we go. No, it doesn't. I'm about to drop something. All right, so on uh, – so, you know, you know uh, Disney Plus. I got Disney Plus. I, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I, I turned mine off. I got mine still. I still got mine. I got small children. Though. So, so you guys seen Actually, the – I uh, forgot to shut it off. You, you guys seen the uh, original movie Willow, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. a new one. They got the new show, Willow. No in the food. first 20 minutes of it, there was a lesbian scene. I still watched it because I love Willow. I, I want to see what's happening. But what what does why that, do they what does that, that play to the, to the storyline? It doesn't. They forced it upon us. Now, now granted, <laughs> I, I would rather have a lesbian <laughs> scene what than it? You know, another scene. <laughs> but, but it was a kiss. It was a deep kiss between two women. Well, look, this is like on a... Oh, um, what was the TV show with the uh, zombies? Walking Dead. Walking Dead. I like Walking so Dead. I, I, I was always stunned by. There's a new one out too. Yeah, I was Last always us, I was always really stunned good. the fact that all these lesbians and uh, gays are finding each other in the uh, post apocalyptic world. Either you're forced to do that because there's less partners, which would make sense. Yeah. But no, that doesn't appear to be the case. It's just you know I find it odd that. Thirty percent of the survivors are all, you know, lesbians. maybe maybe that's the key to surviving the zombie apocalypse. That's it. Maybe you're onto something. Maybe. And, and, and you won't be able to uh, repopulate the world. I'm well, o- but yes, you can now, right? <sighs> but well. but I'm okay with lesbians and gays, and that's fine. Everything's great. But but obviously, I I, I want to be it's realistic. It's not the population. I want to be realistic. Let's be realistic. I mean, if if there's a movie taking place in Harlem, I expect almost everybody to be black. If yeah. there's a movie taking place in Central America, not Central America, but the center of America, I expect it to be the bulk of people be white. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like by the bulk, I mean like ninety five percent. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's, could you imagine if uh, there was a movie 
in Wakanda and there's like white folks running around everywhere? That, that's not that's not the way it should be. No, no. But let's make realistic stuff. Okay? Wakanda forever. Well, Wakanda's not real, so yeah. We but I, I I do enjoy the Willow uh, okay. show though. It's a show. It's not a movie. It no the will. It's a series. And how many Rotten Tomatoes does it have? I I don't know. I don't really I, care. I've also heard that it's not really about Willow. It's about Willow's daughter or something like that. No, no. It goes back to Laura Dannon, the the baby. The baby. It's about the baby. It's about, so it's it's about little Willow baby. She's learning back her 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 skills that have been uh, suppressed suppressed because they did not want Laura Dannon to know who she was. Like she didn't know who she was. I'm gonna go watch Willow, then go back and watch. And then watch so oh, you gonna go watch awesome. Willow Saturday night? Is that what you're doing Saturday night? Yeah, watch. No, we are not doing that Saturday night. I, you're not. I know. where are you gonna be at Saturday night? I'm gonna be in Blyville, Arkansas. Right Blyville, there. Arkansas. You know my family's from Blyville. I own I own land in Blyville right now. So. I thought you sold your land in Blyville. No, I did not. So can we like go to your land in Blyville and just like chill? Yes, it's next to uh, Maverick. Uh, oh, I know where that's at. That yeah. Maverick Steel Steel Mill. Uh-huh. That's where my land is. That's so we can drive out there. That's and where my out. grandfather grew up at. Huh. Mm-hmm. So All you're right. gonna be in Blava. What are you in Blava for? I won't Ma- be. At, uh, I'll be uh, listening to some songs. Marty Ray Project. Marty Live Ray from Project. The Ritz. Live from the Ritz, Blava, Arkansas. Come Saturday night. <laughs> Come out and join us. Well, we're all gonna be there. Hopefully, we're not sick, and we'll all be there. Um, Marty Ray. Uh, what else we got to talk about tonight? Oh, look, we're working on something. I've I've, I've given you all teased a couple of times, but, <sighs> but we've put it off again. But we're working on something here. There's just too many coincidences with athletes becoming ill. Yep. We just need a little more time. We're working on it. And the FDA and uh, CDC did come out recently with a COVID uh, booster saying that it does have a potential for uh, increasing the uh well, they're at least investigating the potential. Yes, the potential no, of stroke. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's it's that, that's fact. That's not that's not look, any. Uh, what I do know is it won't get us banned. It don't get us banned CDC off YouTube. The, the the risk he, the risk of uh, the vaccine is why Gary didn't take it. Exactly. The re- for me, that's why I'm not an athlete. You're saying yeah, Jamie. Jamie is a healthy individual. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, like, yeah, I mean the yeah, likelihood of me running. <laughs> Now, let me tell you what. I walked way more this weekend than I. His legs are sore, dude. I'm 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 hurting. Look, He's hurting. We, uh, Friday, and I don't do much walking, but Friday I walked twelve thousand steps. Saturday was uh, eighteen thousand, and uh, uh, yesterday was seventeen thousand. So, all right, you didn't tell us there was something you left out. Uh-oh. You said the Miss Universe pageant was going on. Yes, her, her. Mm. yeah, Miss Universe was going on the same. Uh, uh, Convention Center was it? Is that the Miss Universe that's that, uh, got a Miss, new owner? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Miss yeah. The, 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 uh, no, but the owner is a uh, trans, a trans, trans, a, trans a feminist, a fan, a trans woman feminist who has pledged to listen. I will tell you right now. We walked up, and uh, there was a nice gentleman. What we as we walked up. My daughter and wife were speaking, uh, talking about the Miss Universe, and my daughter or my wife said, "Well, you'll never, you can never do that because you're not tall enough." And the guy sitting next to us as we're walking, he said, "Oh, they've changed <laughs> the rules. Uh, there's no height requirements anymore, so now they're being more inclusive." I said, "Yes, 2023, I can win now." <laughs> <laughs> and as I'm saying this, I've realized I probably shouldn't have because I look up and the whole crowd's gathered up for Miss Universe to get in. Is that it for tonight? I think so. Let me let me show my my uh, sticker Gary got me. Look, I got him a bunch of those stickers. Hey, I bought a hundred of them. Y'all come out. Look, check out our YouTube videos. They're getting better. Uh, follow us on all the other things. Hit the like button. Go subscribe. Tell your friends about it. We about to pass five thousand downloads. Make it happen, people. And lead me, lead me while my mother cries. Oh, but I got that wrong. I did get it wrong. Cause somebody done took from an outlaw. Take my picture down from the courthouse wall. I'm living in the clouds and I ain't gonna fall. Somebody done saved this. Outlaw. Outlaw.